My mom, 58F, forced me, 25F, to break up with my new boyfriend, 25M, again and I need advice in what to do now. I was dating someone until yesterday when my mom spent hours arguing trying to force me to end things with him until I ended giving up after weeks of arguing and emotional distress and exhaustion I was dating him for almost two months but we already knew each other before. Everything was going well until I assumed to my mom he was my boyfriend then she automatically switched for being okay with us hanging out to being extremely strict with everything I did. Not go to his house for example. And mean to him every time they saw each other. I'm devastated. Laying in my bed all day crying without talking with anyone since yesterday. Emotionally exhausted because this is not the first time my mom did this. She did the same with my ex-boyfriend until after three months dating we broke up because my boyfriend couldn't take her strict and mean behavior anymore I can't do anything because I still live together with my mom at her house. I'm trying to save money to be able to move back to my homeland because I never intended to stay in the country I am but I did because she and my brother forced us all to stay seven years ago please someone give me some advice because I am so tired of not being able to even choose who I want to love and hang out. I want to marry someday or just feel happy for loving and be loved back but how am I supposed to do so when every time I start dating my mom will keep forcing me to break up or make the guys break up with me. My post is a total mess and I apologize for it but I am in a complete mess right now as well. I and my family comes from Brazil and we are living in Scandinavia right now, my father's homeland, he died 21 years ago. Update. I ended up arguing again with my mom yesterday and she slapped me several times and insulted me. Now I'm hiding my phone so she won't take it away last update. I have decided to stay until I have saved up some money and leave to my homeland to restart my life again. I will have one last talk with my boyfriend, now ex, because I don't want this situation to continue and hurt him anymore as well tldr. My mom forced me to break up with my current boyfriend by phone and I don't know how to handle the situation anymore. This relationship between you and your mother keeps you from growing up and acting like an autonomous person while you are legally and biologically an adult. It seems like her treating you like a child all the time has kept you from truly growing up. How's the situation at home? Is it just the two of you? Are there other family members that treat you more like an equal and adult? Moving out will help, but there are probably some life skills you will need that you don't simply gain by being on your own setting boundaries and dealing with the negative emotions, your own and those of others, when you enforce these boundaries are examples of these skills. I think help from outside. Whether from a professional or from level-headed friends or family is important do not let your mother isolate you like this, but keep in touch with people and maintain friendships and relationships as much as possible. You will probably have to live with your mom for a little while longer try to avoid getting drawn into emotional discussions, they are useless and will drain you. She is trying to control you by controlling who you can see and when but she cannot actually control you. She cannot physically keep you home or prevent you from seeing people you still believe she can, but actually it is you making that possible for her to do. I know it is way easier said than done to just make your own choices, but at least reflect on the role you have taken on, that of the child, to be bossed around and punished when you disobey, and see if you can start seeing yourself in a different way see where you have choices and if you can change how you make them. This might sound mean. But you made the choice to hurt your boyfriend, and yourself. To appease your mother it may not have felt like a choice, but it can help if you look at it like it was. Now, I don't suggest going full into teenage rebellion mode it will just be more drama and worst case, you find yourself homeless. But try to push the boundaries a bit not with the goal of winning, but as a way of practicing your autonomy start making choices you want to make. It seems like she'll scream and bully you anyway. Might as well do things you actually want to do. What will happen if you just go to his house? Your mom can't keep you as a prisoner you're 25 and can do whatever you want. I get that if it's her house and she doesn't want you two to sleep in one bed. Okay her house her rules but you're a full grown adult and should be treated like one. I'd like to introduce the concept of lying. You don't have to tell your mother everything. You're an adult. Move out. Get roommates go be happy and in love if that's what you want. So when are you going to stand up to her and not let her walk all over you?
even though you live with your mother, does not mean she can dictate who you are dating you are a 25-year-old grown woman. The only thing your mother can do is kick you out maybe you need to look at living with some roommates to afford housing. I lived with my parents until I was 24 and they had zero say in who I dated you said your mom can take your phone away. Is she still paying for your phone or do you? If you pay for the bill, your mother cannot touch your phone or take it away from you just because she is your mother does not mean she gets to control you, as you are a legal adult. Your mom sounds abusive and you should consider getting out of there ASAP. Don't tell her you're in a relationship, don't tell her anything she doesn't need to know. Give her only the bare minimum how was your day, how was work, are you hungry do not talk about your personal life with her, ever. Don't give her any ammunition to use against you keep your head down, keep working hard to make money to be able to move away from her. Get yourself a burner phone with a secret number in case she takes your phone away make sure she has no access to your bank account and if she does, take her rights away. Maybe open a secret bank account she doesn't know about and move money there every month there are no immediate solutions if you cannot move in with roommates or friends, but you can and will make it through this. Google and read about Grey Rock Method, and use this with your mom and brother if they have access to your phone and or computer, make sure to clear your search history, change all your passwords, and keep them hidden from them. Are you living in Scandinavia currently? The government can help with many things if you need to move out suddenly or you find yourself homeless the countries aren't like America source. I live in Scandinavia. You can apply for benefits to help with living expenses. If you have difficulties due to the language, hit me up whenever, I'd be happy to help. You've got to get out of there I was raised by an emotionally abusive mother and even if her behavior isn't always that extreme, this is not okay and the only way to get boundaries and autonomy is to get out of her space. Do you have any other friends or family you can stay with for a few days while you process this? You're 25 years old basically you need to get back together with your boyfriend and tell your overly controlling mother to kick rocks. If she won't support your relationship I'd cut off contact for a while. I'm 47 it took me until last year to go low contact with my abusive, controlling and narcissistic family. Don't waste the best years of your life like I did the years of your youth go incredibly fast. My aunt also had a controlling mother who didn't want her to marry a man who was a different religion than she was my aunt died alone in her condo at 72 having been single her whole life because she was a good, obedient daughter. There isn't always another person you can love and people aren't always replaceable in your life you have 5 more years of your 20s. After you hit 30 life goes by at warp speed. I regret the years I wasted trying to be good. So that my parents would love me they are your parents if they can't love you as you are, then they are incapable of love. Ma'am, you're 25 years old despite what we're brainwashed to think your parent can't control who you date at all and living under her roof doesn't mean that she can dictate your life. Do yourself a favor and keep him away from your house you don't need to sit around the house with him all day for the relationship to be valid. Leave the house to hang out with him then come back home when you're done I don't know what trauma of negative life experiences your mom has endured but clearly she is controlling or protective in the most unhealthy way possible. She is scared to lose you and has never accepted the fact that you are not her little child anymore since you seemingly allow her behaviors to dictate how you operate as an adult. Your new phrase to her should be, Mom, I don't want to talk about that, when she crosses the line into your personal business. If you don't start standing up to her and demanding respect as an adult before you realize it, you'll end up 45 years old, still living in her house, still single and back on posting about the 10th boyfriend that she forced you to break up with. Up. You are a legal adult, your mother cannot forbid you from leaving the house. You need to stand up to her or she will always be like this, there will never be a BF she likes, approves of. She will continue to do exactly what she's doing now, arguing you down to emotional exhaustion and giving in and she will keep doing this because it works, because you can't or won't stand up to her. Act like the adult you are. Stand up for yourself leave if she won't leave you alone. You can't keep acting like a child and expect to be treated like an adult. You've been an adult for 7 plus years now it's time to tell your mom to focus on running her own life, not yours. What's your background? Middle Eastern or the sort? Where do you live? Migrated to? Some EU country? Nah? 
You mention even your brother at a certain point? What's his take on all this? If I hit it right with one of the aboves then not much you can do at this stage you need to save money and move out ASAP. Then you start building your life from the scrap. Another idea would be to talk with the ex-boyfriend and see if you guys can live together. If you however live and are part of a western culture but your mom is emotionally dependent on you it'd say what others have already said. Stop your mom walking all over you you're 25 and she needs to realize that. My parents were strict when I was growing up, and that made me an expert liar I didn't do anything dangerous or wrong, just living my life, went on a few dates until I met my now husband. But I didn't introduce him to them until years into the relationship, when we had decided to get married until that point I would always say that I was out, with friends, on trips and holidays, with friends, etc. I didn't like lying and sneaking around, but it's a matter of self-preservation when the alternative is fighting all the time and letting them ruin your life because of their irrational and antiquated opinions. Get out from under your parents date who you want. Just keep secretly dating him lol. I would do some research on narcissistic relationships you need to be quiet about leaving. You will likely need to go no contact for some time once you leave a few things to think about as you make your exit plan. Figure out how much money you need. Renting a room might be cheaper than trying to find an apartment. Work as much as you can to save quickly. This will also keep you out of the house and hopefully less of a target in the short term start packing or hiding your personal items. Track down the important stuff, passport, birth records etc. Do you have a bank account separate from your family? Does your family pay for your phone? I'm guessing yes, if you have to buy your own plan with a new number. Do that open up a bank account in your name only. Start taking your life and privacy back. Grey Rock. Be as boring as possible to your mom and bro give them nothing other than a pleasant, good morning. Do not get wrapped into their arguments, threats, or accusations that perpetuates the cycle of abuse. Conversation starts turning on you. State, I need to collect my thoughts. We will talk about this later, leave the room. Leave the house if you have to lean on those who love you. Does your ex know the extent of your family's abuse? Open up to him or other friends and see if they can support you emotionally or open their home for a few days consider professional help. You've been in an abusive relationship with your family for some time it is natural and okay to feel confused, shame, or guilt. You will need help working through all of that please consider taking dating off the table until you understand the extent of what you went through. I'm sorry, but you're 25 years old I can't get my head around why you haven't just told her to fuck off and mind her own business. Your mom sounds like a narcissist stop telling her things about your life and get out ASAP. I know it's easier said than done you are an adult and can make your own decisions and she hates it. She is doing whatever she can to maintain some kind of control she wants to control who you date. That's insane. Seriously, just stop talking about your dating life with her. When you move out, you need to be prepared to set firm boundaries. The thing about boundaries is that once you let someone break them and get away with it, they know they can do it again. And each time it becomes more and more difficult to set them do it right the first time as soon as you're gone. Also, do not give her a key. You're 25 years old, you're an adult. Act like an adult. Keep saving and move out as soon as able your mother is abusive. If you have friends, I would ask them if they can house you for a bit while you gather up money and find a better situation, job. She is setting herself up to be a lonely old woman whose kids never want to deal with. That's a sad story. Break up with your mom, you entitled to have your own choices and your own mistakes. Your mom can advise and you decide what to do with advices. What advice do you want? There is no magical one that will make your mom change either move out with roommates, look for agencies who can help you find shelter or suck it up. Time to keep your mother out of your love life. You, mom, I understand you care, but this is my life, and I am an adult, now I have the right to date anyone I like. If you cannot respect that, I will take my chances, and move in with him. You would be surprised at how easily this works. That said, it is your life, and no one forces you to do anything your mother did not hold you at gunpoint or threaten you. 
All she did was nag you and you gave in you need to work on your self-confidence and resolve. I know it sounds bad, but for your mental health and until you are able to move out, do what you want to do just don't make it a point to tell your mom. I had very controlling parents and this is what I did she was totally fine with him being your friend, just say he's her friend but go ahead and date who you want. And if her BFS ask why you don't introduce them as the BF then you can explain it to them. Your mom has major issues if she's trying to control anything in your life at your age. You have issues if you let her control any aspect of your life at your age. You both need therapy I'm going to doubt your mom will ever realize she has issues and is abusive towards you. If I were you, I'd seek counseling and stop telling your mom about any aspect of your life. Step 1. Become financially independent and move out on your own, preferably to another's town so they can't spy on you. Step 2. Your family seems abusive and extremely controlling they will still try to control you when you move away. You may want to consider not telling them you are moving, where you are moving to or cutting them off completely as they aren't going to change just because you moved step 3. If you do stay in contact with your family don't tell them about who you're dating and keep that person far away from your family. So you need to leave like yesterday. You are in Scandinavia. Go to work, there you will call your boyfriend. Explain it to him and ask him to get you out. He probably knows the rules of the country if not, he knows who and what to ask. Do not talk to anyone about that set a date, get everyone out of the house. Send them to the cinema or something move out, with the help of your BF and his friends. Go no contact really. Tell your boss about your situation afterwards if they show up at work, get them removed. You might need to move farther away and switch jobs if they still stalk you, expose them. Are there domestic abuse or adult abuse hotlines in your country? You need to talk to someone in a safe setting. You need to leave just leave and never come back. This is horrifying and all your comments with the extra details, like that they track your every move and tell you when you can and can't leave. Give me such bad vibes this is abuse. Do you have shelters in your country? Do you have a way to contact your family in South America? Because let's be real once you start working enough to be able to save up and move out, your mentally disturbed mother is 100% going to ruin that for you. From everything you've said here, it seems like it's her intent to keep you in that house forever, it's not going to be an easy out, but you need to get away from those people ASAP. This seems like emotional abuse which is probably part of why it's so hard to leave do you have friends you can stay with? Get out, block your mom on everything and don't look back. Cut the umbilical cord from your mother lordy lord. Who does she think she is controlling you like that? Get those boundaries down now. Can you go stay with a friend while you get on your feet financially? Your mother sounds horribly controlling and you need to get yourself out of this situation. Move out and live on your own. 